This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. And we are back. I know it's been a little bit of time since the last video uh, that you guys didn't watch. It's cool, I get it, it was a bit off brand. Basically I did bad ideas instead of good ideas. I'll link it down below. Like, I, I don't care if you watch it, give it a watch if you want. Did put a lot of work into it, but I, you know, I don't care. If you wanna watch it, whatever, you know, don't watch it. But speaking of watches, seamless transition, here's a comment that got a ton of upvotes. Coulson says, build an Iron Man watch with the repulsor inside. All right, your wrist is my command. Who wrote this? Did you write this? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> uh, but before we do that, here's some stuff that you guys built yourselves and sent my way. Always love doing this segment, guys. So if you've made something cool, want it to be featured, send it my way, tag me on Instagram, DM me, or email, and uh, also follow me on TikTok, cause uh, you know, why not? Posting some heat over there. Anyways, for those of you who don't know, this is the watch we're making. Basically like a normal Tony Stark high-tech watch that then transforms into a glove when he taps on it. Sort of like a last resort backup gadget if he doesn't have the full suit. Now, I don't see this being easy because uh, the movies, they use CGI to do this. But uh, you know, we'll give it the old college try. Speaking of college, my school, along with like pretty much every other one, is uh, online now thanks to this virus. So hashtag rip senior year. Also, all the stores are closed, so it makes it a little bit harder to get building materials. But I'm gonna do my best to keep bringing you guys content because that's pretty much all we have right now. So stay safe out there. And comment any like building ideas you might have related to this project that maybe I should do. Different types of masks, something that stops you from touching your face, something cool, something funny. Just let me know. Also, I'll link a super helpful video by Kutz because uh, down below on this virus, the most informed, like easy to understand video I've seen so far. So for the watch, I'm thinking of having the wristband part be the part that unfolds into the glove, and then using the watch face to sort of slide around, and then the watch face is actually gonna turn into the repulsor. And it'd be really cool if we could actually make this work somehow, like at least a little bit. I'm not about to just tape a flashlight to my hand, that's boring. We need some fire, some explosions with this like transforming watch and some God Michael Bay shit. Thought about cramming a laser into the watch. Would be cool, but uh, let's be honest, I've pretty much done that a million times already. So I decided instead to go with flash paper, and flash cotton. So I did a little bit of testing and uh, here's how that went. Pretty cool effect to be honest. Basically the flash paper burns slower while the flash cotton burns super fast. When you put them together, watch bomb. Ah, I mean Iron Man repulsor. That is, that is what we're doing, not, can't say the B word. Hashtag demonetized. But I mean, I'll put links to everything below. Uh, for the ignition source, I went with an arc lighter. Took it apart, crammed it into the watch. Ended up using a pretty big watch to fit all this stuff in and still leave room for the explosion chamber. Yeah, let's call it that. Also added some LEDs around the outside and put sort of like a diffuser ring on the top to give it a bit more of a repulsor vibe. Also added some copper windings to the outside of the ring, inspired by the actual arc reactor. And I think it came out pretty good. Now for the actual glove, ideally it would be made out of metal, but uh, that is pretty hard. No pun intended. Pun very much intended. Metal doesn't fold up very easily. So I went back to some of my research from the expandable shield video. Check it out if you haven't, but I'm thinking we make some sort of like ring that expands out over your hand. Gonna have to figure out the thumb piece, but uh, here's the prototype. A Little bit rough around the edges, but definitely potential. So here it is guys, check this thing out. here's how it works. We've got the watch face, obviously, right here. This is gonna be like the repulsor thing. We've got two switches on the side, one for the lights. Again, we've got the diffuse ring around the outside with the copper windings. Repulsor vibes, for sure. And the other button is gonna be how we're gonna fire this repulsor. So, this one controls the arc lighter, which uh, is right down in this explosion chamber. So, if we press this button, you can see. Oh, yeah. So that's what's gonna light the flash cotton and flash paper. I'm just gonna do a little test. All we gotta do, just put a little bit down in there, make sure it's touching the terminals. You can fit way more than this, which we will do in a minute. Then all we gotta do is just click this button. Boom. Fires. Another thing I'm gonna do is actually put a cap on this thing. What that'll do is actually give it some compression. So it'll make a much louder sound, be way more explosive. Kind of more like a gunshot rather than if you just like light a pile of gunpowder. The actual true feature of this thing is how it expands into a glove. So as you may have noticed, the actual glove part is this metal stuff underneath the wristband. So all we have to do is just sort of slide that out, 
from underneath. Try and film this the best I can. So just sort of slide that out. Pretty cool actually how this expands out. Pull the glove out over our wrist. Got one tiny little piece of Velcro that helps us stay on the wrist. And then we can grab the watch, spin it around, and then position it right on the hand. Just like that. Expandable full metal. Iron Man glove. Can we get the lights? We got the explosives. And that's how it works. Let's go have a little fun. Let's see what my friends are up to. Jesse, what are you up to? Christian, what's going on, dude? Just help me film. What are you doing? Turns out they're all playing Raid Shadow Legends, the sponsor of this video. Actually, though, it is a pretty sweet game. Like when I showed it to my friends, they were both very impressed with the graphics and got pretty hooked. Oh, 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 oh. so. Should probably let him not do that. You haven't yeah. played this nearly as long as I have. Yeah, clearly. You won't help me film. You're too busy. Playing Raid Shadow Legends, link okay. in the description right now. The RPG has over 300 champions to fill your teams and combines over a million different builds. Over a million? And they're done that. <laughs> <laughs> Respect, Raid. Between unlocking mysteries and leveling up champions, Dark Lord Sarath does not stand a chance. Oh, oh my god, this is so, this is scary. so close. No! Oh. Okay, I got one. He's oh, going. dude, watch come this, on. This. One hit. Come on, please, please what? go. Yeah! Let's go! Hey. Level up, baby. Season one is live and you can win awesome rewards including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and new epic and legendary champions by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. So head on down to the link in the description to download the game. And if you use my link, you'll get 50K free silver and an epic champion as part of the new player program. All right, back to the video. Rolling on camera number two. Which one of you thinks your camera one and which is thinks your camera two? I think I'm camera one. Really? Right? I don't know. You think so? Yeah. Alright, so we got a little switch on the side right here. So icy. Cold out here. <gasps> Can't tell if it's the weather or the watch. <laughs> <laughs> Does that look cool when I do that? Yeah. Sort of like... Jakey. No, your, we'll, mouth, your mouth looks really dumb. No, we'll, we'll, e we'll edit it and make it look sick. We'll like. <laughs> point about this watch transforms into a glove. So let's see how that looks. Let's pop this bottom part out. That comes off. Ready? Just the watch. <sighs> you never see this scene in Iron Man. When he reloads, fit one fun. more in there. No, no, no. There's enough cotton in there. Don't even worry about it. You don't even worry about it, dog. Wait, you no, don't even worry about it, dog. Cut, cut the camera, bro. Get that on my face. Get that on my face. Christian's in line too. Guys, you only one of you can go at a time. We're <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> supposed to make this look cool, all right? <laughs> Guys, supposed to be like a sick montage. Like this one's rolling. <laughs> Not a bad little device. I've say it's pretty cool, looks pretty sweet, but uh, I've got one more idea I want to do. Bring you guys a little bit more content in this time of need. This gadget might actually be useful, so let me know what you think. All right, what if we could make like a real life functional watch taser? So it starts off as a wrist watch, you run into a little bit of trouble, slide it down your hand, slide it over your knuckles. And these parts are going to be taser terminals, and probably no one's going to mess with you. Could be cool, thought I might as well try it. You know, with all these watch gadgets and sci-fi weapons, just like our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, link in description. Let's try it out. First started out with a mini taser, gutted it, moved some pieces around. These things, by the way, are pretty janky when you open them up. 3D printed a housing, remapped some of the buttons, and uh, there you go. All right, taser bracelet test one. Hopefully I don't tase myself. Tasing, no tasing. Oh, let's go. Y'all wanna mess with this? There it is. Ow! Ah, there it is! Would you allow me to show you guys my latest invention? Pretty low profile bracelet. Maybe a fashion accessory, you know? What it's got in here is uh, something quite shocking. Uh, don't, <laughs> don't, don't encourage this. Say you're, uh, you know, you're in a, you're Jake in a little taser. bit of a fight, you know. We've got a button right here and another switch right here. So this switch arms it. See that red light? So then this just sort of pops on the wrist right here, Where? folds over, and then. Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh <laughs> kind of getting used God. to it. 
Just as planned. First try. Who wants to get hit? Who wants some? Jake, I see a bully. I, no. <laughs> I feel bad doing this. This sucks, dude. <laughs> really, I'm gonna just... feel bad doing this. I don't want to do this. I don't even want to do this. You do it. I don't think I could just put it on my skin without it accidentally doing it to me, though. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Oh. Oh. I got you. A little bit here. <laughs> it's not that bad, dude. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. Hit that like button and uh, let me know what I should make next because, you know, I got nothing better to do that block myself in the basement and make videos for you guys. Also, once again, big shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Check it out, link down below. So thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.